que nada tinham a ver com o de fora, e sim com processos de dentro da minha cabeça. O universo girava dentro de mim. Hey guys, this is Florian, and look at this amazing scenery that I have here behind me. Wow, I'm traveling around the world since the last 15 months, and um, I've seen various countries, various people from different countries that I've met. Um, all around people from all around the world and um, I've had all kinds of experiences in the last videos I was uh, sharing some experiences about cultures and some general impressions of the countries that I've seen in my life and in this one I just want to talk a bit about the general backpacker life that I've experienced and um, what it means to me uh, what it means for me to be a backpacker I hope it's not too windy and you can hear, uh, I apologize for my sore voice. Yeah, I have a bit of a flu, but a bit of a cold, but not too much. So yeah, um, what did I do? What kind of life experiences did I have? Like, how did my backpacking life look like? In Madrid, I did something called Work Away, um, a platform on the internet and uh, uh, with this I found a guy who needed help. So I was um, in the middle of nowhere, a bit of desert kind of area, um, dry lands with olive trees, helping a guy build a fence that he wants to use for animals. And he lives there in his self-built house with his solar panels and all this kind of stuff. And uh, and it was quite an intimate experience uh, um, living there with a Dutch guy who was also helping and uh, sharing a small space, um, sharing a lot of details about our lives, talking so much. There was no TV, no distractions. Um, the phone service was not really important for us. Uh, we, we listened to music, we talked, uh, we, we collected firewood, uh, we kept the oven running. We built that fence, we walked the dogs and all this kind of stuff and it was a really good experience. Um, and I went on and I did a bit more of helping kind of jobs without getting money for it, um, but getting accommodation and food in return. Um, another one was uh, for in a hostel in Granada, really good time as well, a bit more dirty job, cleaning the toilets and this kind of stuff. Um, but it was still a good, uh, good fun and fe felt a bit like family almost, um, what we had there. And it kept going like this, like the travel experiences that I had uh, every time I went to a new place and I stayed there for a while. I, it became almost like a family because you meet other travelers and you spend like really intense times with them and uh, sometimes hired ones when it just comes to work and sometimes it's very pleasant and enjoying ones and it gives you like a sort of a family vibe. Um, I had I had this a uh, couple of times, this kind of lifestyle and I've met amazing people along the way. Um, also, yeah, like I said, from all over the world. Um, love life, friends life, all kinds of things and uh, and uh, I've met my current girlfriend also uh, on traveling and yeah it's it's quite it's quite interesting the, the traveling backpacker life and it can be different for everyone um, I kept also going I needed to charge up a bit money so I uh, went to Australia and uh, I did some really hard jobs that paid well um, and changed a bit my travel lifestyle into a normal living lifestyle, following your job, uh, working hard, working a lot of hours and uh, hanging with some locals and stuff. Um, 
was not the most pleasant part of my travel, but gave me a good view into some people's lives. Uh, um, that were people that work these kind of jobs uh, all the time. So I was working as a, a construction laborer, in a, building a tunnel in Sydney, and um, I was working construction another time in Cairns. I was working uh, food delivery, and I met all these uh, Indian guys and some Chinese guys who did the same job. And the working conditions are a bit shitty, and the money is a bit, was a bit shitty. And but it's kind of cool if you have some people that have the heart in the right place. Uh, if you have them around you, and you can have some laughs at work, it's quite nice. Um, yeah, so it's a bit of a mix. I'm trying to get away from the wind and one moment have a look. Have a look at this amazing sunset. Wow. Yeah, so I'm talking way too much again. <laughs> I'm always doing that. Uh, yeah, don't be mad at me about that. <laughs> um, yeah, so there is this side, the working side, but there's also the enjoyment side. So once once I had the money, I decided to um, had to do some activities like scuba diving, um, boat tours, yeah, even like living on a boat for a couple of days, um, traveling to other countries and enjoying for a while the money that I have earned in the hard way. And or with a bit of support as well through my Patreon that you can see in the link down below and um, all this kind of stuff. So there are crazy parties, definitely. I'm 30 years old, so I'm not the same kind of crazy party guy that I was uh, with 25. And I, I see some people that are traveling that have uh, a bit more of a party travel and more party craziness, let's say. I've had some really craziness as well, but uh, I keep it I keep it low. Um, I don't want to party too much. I want to enjoy more. And I want to see things. I want to see something about culture. I do want to experience this work life as well. And and uh, I do want to, want to party as well. But uh, yeah, I, I've definitely seen people who are like partying crazy, 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 crazy. And um, and that's good for it's for everyone. It can be an individual experience of traveling, and that's what makes it unique. So when I'm telling you my experiences about traveling, it doesn't need to be like that. This is the ones for you. Maybe you're gonna end up um, joining a hippie community in the far north and Queensland uh, area and, and live in the jungle for months and uh, do yoga and uh, Tantra and all these kind of things. I've, there are possibilities, or you, you go to like a very commercial place and you go to big parties and you get drunk and get drunk with your friends and, and uh, hook up and what, whatever and have the craziest uh, sexual experiences or it can be with a lot of variations. Oi, oi, oi. There's a little dog here. Hey mate. <laughs> well, I have a new friend here, but I want to keep going, going with the video. Sorry buddy. I can't, I, I know. Oh yeah, I feel a bit sorry now. But uh, priority is the video. And you can see I'm doing this without cuts. And uh, yeah. Where was I? The experiences can vary and uh, everyone can find their own purpose for traveling and their own kind of experiences. And it can be mixing with the locals, it can be staying with other travelers and it can be a mix of everything as well. Um, pretty much what I did I think and um, yeah I hope that gave you a little bit of an insight in the travel life and uh, I definitely want to encourage you 
to try it out if you are hesitating uh, and you have this feeling inside you. Um, do it and be curious and discover what can your travel experience be like. What will be, who will you be uh, as a traveler. And that said, thanks for tuning in and I'll keep you posted. Bye-bye.